hello hello and welcome back to another video my name is Keisha and today I am working in Cricut Design Space I am going to be um, cutting out a name to go on the back of a shirt for my husband he wants his name in tut language um, on the back of his shirt so that is what I'm about to do I actually already um, logged in here and type the name in but I'm going to just redo it for you all so I just clicked on the text box here and it brought up this box and I'm just going to type the name in Ooh. So I've typed it in. I actually want it in all caps and bold. This spot here is Blanche BQ. I'm not sure if um, I added this font in here or if it's a system font. But this is the font. I got a lot of fonts that I added. So I'm not sure if this is one of those that I added or if it's one that came um, with the program. Excuse my computer because it is moving a little slow. need to clean my computer out so I got so many files on here but I have an external hard drive so I need to move all this stuff off of here um, okay so I am going to hit the unlock here when this pop back up so I can resize it and this is going to be done using um, heat transfer vinyl which is the vinyl that you will use if you wanted to put something on a shirt. Alright, so this little lock here, if it's locked, you can only move it like the proportions, you know, stay a certain size. But I want to unlock it so I can put it how I want it. So I'm probably going to do this like um, two and a half height by 12 wide actually I might do it a little bit more than two and a half two and a half all right so I'll do that just a little bit a little bit um, smaller than 12 I'm gonna lock this here back I'm going to go to make it and I do have to cut my machine on that's just my cricket machine making a noise I actually uh, just turned it on so here is the name here. I'm just going to slide it up just a tad. It won't let me slide it up, but it's okay. So this got it on a um, 12 by 24 inch mat, but I'm going to use my 12 inch mat. You want a mirror if you are using um, heat transfer vinyl. And it's telling me that my image is larger than 11 and a half in height or width. So it's going to... Um, make me acknowledge um, to go ahead with my larger mat but I'm going to use my 12 inch mat because I got a little extra room right here so it'll still cut. Um, So I'm going to go on my machine and change my dial. I actually have a Cricut um, Explorer Air 2. So I changed my dial to iron on. But if you have like other specialty vinyls, you can go to custom and browse all materials just to select the material that you're using. But me, I'm just going to use regular iron on vinyl. So I've turned my dial to iron on. 
and then I'm going to load my mat, but I have to put my vinyl on there first. So, I'm going to cut out my image, and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I have loaded my vinyl onto my mat. And like I stated before, I am going to use my 12 by 12 mat. So I'm going to, sometimes I have to hold this. Uh-oh. Um, I actually don't have it all the way on there. Okay, so I have my vinyl on my mat. I'm using my 12 by 12 mat. Because as you can see here, at the bottom of the mat, like there's still like a little bit of space. So my design go right to the 12, but it is still cut just a little bit past there. So normally I have to hold this when I push the um, arrow button or sometimes it won't load. Loading my mat, and I'm just gonna hit cut, and it's gonna do its thing and cut. It's very important to make sure you mirror your vinyl or mirror your image when you are um, using heat transfer vinyl. And heat transfer vinyl is vinyl that you would put on shirts, whether it's foil. Um, glitter, um, clock, the puffy vinyl, you want a mirror. So it's just cutting out and it's not gonna take that long to cut. So it's actually almost done cutting. I got 59% loop. Okay, so I'm going to cut almost. I think we got like one more letter. So I'm just going to hit this button here to unload my mat all the way. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have unloaded my mat from the machine. I've taken my vinyl off of the mat. This here, paper cutter, I got this from... Uh, I think I got it from Michael's. But they sell them at Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby. My design, hopefully y'all can see me. I don't have y'all on the right tripod, but hopefully y'all can see me. So my design is here. When I have extra vinyl, I just like to cut it even so I can use, you know, the rest for another project. So I'm just going to cut this vinyl. Right here. My blade is really dull. I probably need to figure out a way to sharpen it. So here's a piece of my black bottle that I have for another project. And then I'm gonna cut again. So my design is here. The cut line is here. This has a scoring tool and a blade on it. Um, let me just use the blade tool. And I'm just gonna cut. Here's another piece of my black vinyl that I can save for another project. So, these are perfectly good pieces of vinyl to use for another project. So here is the um, the design. So I'm just going to weed it real quick. And then I'll come back and show you all me pressing it later. Weeding. Be 
sweet trash or vinyl is very easy. Weeding in the vinyl is easy. It's just time consuming, um, depending on how the type of project. So I'm just weeding out. Hopefully, y'all can see me. I'm just weeding out the spots that needed to be weeded out. Here's the name here that I'm going to put on the back of. Oh, it's a net up here and it's driving me crazy. So, this is the name I'm going to put on the back of this shirt here. Usually, usually, when I place my designs, I've been doing this kind of sort of, you know, for a while, so I pretty much eyeball it. I don't usually measure. I use my heat press to press it, but I'm just going to kind of lay it here just to kind of. And then this is the back of the shirt. Now, like I said, I usually don't measure these. This here is two rulers that I take together from Dollar Tree. It come like an L. They sell T-square rulers, but I haven't purchased one. Like I said, I usually don't measure. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to measure from side to side over here. And side to side over here just to and I got my numbers kind of covered up so I'm gonna just use this edge of the ruler right here Design look pretty centered. All right, Whoops. I just got stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna heat up my heat press, and then I'll come back and show you all me pressing this um on the back of the shirt. Okay, y'all. So I am back really, really quick. I have preheated my heat press it's actually um i got it on 315 and i'm gonna press this for 15 seconds um i do have a time and temp um chart for different types of vinyl i can um add that to my website and put the link um in the description if you all would like it for free so i have my shirt here i've already Put my image where I want it. I have this Teflon sheet here that I got from Amazon. I'm just gonna put that over it just because I don't want nothing getting on my shirt. I'll do sublimation using this press as well. I actually got two. I got this um, 15 by 15 that I won as a gift and then I have this 16 by 24 that I purchased and I just got some trays there. Um, sitting on top of some butcher paper um, that I have to put up and box up. But anyway, back to this here shirt. I just wanted to show y'all the presses. Um, I'm going to press this for 15 seconds. So, I always use a cover over my shirt to protect my shirt and as well as um, to protect my heat press. So, I'm just going to let that go for 15 seconds. Right here. I'm trying to hurry up and finish this video real quick because I gotta run to the airport and I need to be there probably in like 30 minutes, and it's probably like 45 minutes away from me. It's a little bit more than 15 seconds. Um on this heat press, you can actually change the timer as well. But I was just watching it count down. So this vinyl here is a um it's a hot peel. So you peel the carrier sheet off immediately and if you're peeling it off and you see where a piece didn't adhere or um to your shirt or still stuck to the carrier sheet you can just pull it down and press it again so i'm gonna put my teflon sheet back over and i'm gonna press it again for like about six or seven seconds all right 
it. And that is it. So I just adhered this hair name to this hair shirt. And as it says, I guess you pronounce it Jagamomesis. And that is my husband's name in Tut language. Um, and his name is James. This here front of this shirt, I actually, I'm working in a tight space, sorry y'all. I actually did the front of this shirt the other day, but I was so busy rushing. I didn't even record myself doing this um, here. But I just put that name. He wanted the name added to the back of his shirt. Um, that's it for this video. If you like videos like this, I'll be doing a whole lot more videos using my Cricut. Um, I do a lot of designing and silhouette um, studio business edition. So if you like stuff like that, make sure you um, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload videos. Um, if you have any video suggestions or if you want to know anything cricket related or silhouette related, um, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Um, until next time, bye.